All right, bear with me, Scorpio or Scorpio cross watchers. I'm feeling a little bit rough today looking at two. Someone thinks that a person either that they're interested in or a person that they're with is still has feelings, still holds feelings for an ex of theirs, still loves them. Somebody believes someone still loves somebody here. And in some cases, it's not like a still thing. It's like somebody here is like, I know that you love them. I know that you like them. I know that you care about them. I know that you f have feelings for them. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go, but, um, so feelings for them. Do you have feelings for them? That's what I feel like. Now, this could be someone on the outside of you, somebody asking a person on the outside of you, do you have feelings for Scorpio or Crosswatcher? Do you have feelings for them? Or do you still love them? It could be like an ex of yours or something. Do you still love them? Do you want to be with them? Do you still blah, blah, blah? I don't know. But if you're like not, if you're new to someone and you're like a new interest or something, somebody could be asking someone on the outside of you, like, do you like them? Do you have feelings for them? I can tell there's like a little twinkle in your eye or something. There's like a little sparkle when I talk about Scorpio, when you see him, when you look their direction, it's something like that. Somebody here is, uh, you kind of make them insecure in some way. I'm going to say it's like that, right? And it could be reversed. If we have a relationship right here, like let's say you're in a relationship. Your partner may wonder if you have feelings for someone new or if you have feelings for an ex of yours still, like if you're still holding space for someone, if you're if you're interested in them still, if you still love them romantically. If it's somebody new, it's like, do you like them? I feel like you do. I think it's somebody's paranoia. Like somebody truly believes it. I'm telling you, somebody is like dead set that someone here, um, I don't know, has feelings or still has feelings for someone. I think it's somebody thinking they have it for you or they got the hots for you. They have an interest in you. They want you, you know. If we have a relationship here and somebody is assuming that about their partner, this could be what pushes a partner away. It could make somebody's partner kind of be like, I don't like your insecurities. Like, I understand we have insecurities. Everybody does, but your insecurities are kind of, you know, they're getting to me. It's a little much. I'm serious. I'm like freaking looking like a hot mess. I need to wash my hair. The static is back. I just need to take a nap. <sighs> we could just have somebody here who's like, I'm holding on to that one. Like, <laughs> this is the one I want. I'm not changing my mind. Nobody's going to make me change my mind. You could put the hottest bitches in front of me. You could put the sexiest men in front of me. And I'm not going to blink an eye. Because I know exactly who I want. I know who I want. I know who I want. I know who I love. Also, if anybody's pregnant here, someone's like, I can't wait to have this baby. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hold this baby. I can't wait to love this baby. Like, I love this baby. I can't wait. You know, so we do have some situations where it's like, oh, no fucking way. That's kind of, that's kind of, all right, listen, in some situations we have somebody here who's jealous of someone, like, okay, let's say we have a, a relationship. We could have somebody who's jealous of the fact that they're having a baby or they're having another baby, however, whatever, you know, and they're, because their partner shows more attention to the kids or the children, it's like, well, no, I don't get your time or now you don't want to have sex with me or now I can't suck your titties because the baby is or now, you see what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, but they're a baby but they need love. And it's like, well, I do too. I feel that. I, I, you know, now let's say it's not a baby thing. Like somebody's about to give birth or something. It could be somebody whose children are already grown, but a partner is jealous or something or may feel a little bit of jealousy because it's like, well, you show our kids more love than you do me. I feel like you do more with the kids. You show them more attention and affection. You do more with them, more quality one-on-one -on -one time. But me, I kind of get slighted. Like somebody's partner definitely, definitely feels slighted here. I'm hearing Devin. Okay. Also, we could have somebody who's like on the outside, this could be a parent, a grandparent, a friend, something, who's looking at a friend of theirs who is about to have a new baby with somebody, but then they don't even take care of like another baby that they've had or other kids they've had with someone else or others. And maybe there's a parent here who's looking at it like, how can you even love this baby the way that you do knowing that you have another kid out there that you don't even take care of or something like that? Like that's fucking specific. You know, how can you even... You know, now some of you may feel like that. Some of you yourself may feel like that. Like, damn, you know, you may, maybe you have an ex here who just kind of up and abandoned the whole situation or just, 
wasn't there for your children or your child that you had with this person, but yet you watch them and they go, you know, have a little full house uh, elsewhere and they're just like father or mother of the year and you're like, wow, well, where was all that whenever we were having ours or all these years? You know, maybe they're grown now and it's like, damn, well, that would have been nice. I bet our child or children would have loved that from you. Well, hopefully the ones you have now will appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's like it's like this person can't love the first one they had or can't really, they, they may claim they do, but their actions show otherwise. Now that's very, very specific. And they can blame all day. They can blame it on the mother. They can blame it on the father. They can blame it and be like, oh, well, they just didn't want to, you know, listen, if you want to, you will. If he wanted to, he would. If she wanted to, she would. They would fight, right? But somebody here, I mean, it's clear where their priorities were. They'd much rather be um, playing house with somebody else, creating all new realities than taking care of the ones that they've already made. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. Like, that's the truth for somebody here. Somebody needed that message. So somebody's thinking that during this time. Like, I truly believe, like, like you're just, like, it's almost like somebody here thinks that they can like have a whole new fresh start and a whole new whatever and someone's just looking at them like how can you even live like that how can you even survive knowing that there is another part of you out there other parts of you out there and you're not even showing up for them and you can blame the other parent all day you could say they took them away you could say blah blah blah, blah. or you could at least like do you write them letters do you write them letters if maybe you're like oh i don't have the address or i can't because blah 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 well, you can still write them letters and save it in a cabinet or something so one day they can read it and know that you thought about them. I mean, like, come on now. You could fucking do shit that you're not doing, but yet you're, like, stepping up for this baby that's about to be born or just was born or any other baby you've had, but you're not stepping up for this one. And it's like, what in the actual fuck? You know? Now, I'm definitely getting that. Now, also, there could be jealousy in families here. Like, let's say you have families who are kind of, uh, everybody's kind of having babies and stuff like that. And there's, like, young toddlers and babies and newborns and, you know, things like that. And then, like, say um, somebody may get jealous that their mother or father, they may feel like they spend more time with these grandkids than they do this grandkid or these grandkids. And so there could be someone here who's like, I feel like my mother or father favors uh my sister or brother's children or my niece or nephew's children than they do my own or something like that. You know, there could be like jealousy in a family over kids. I don't know why I'm getting that very strongly. Okay. I feel like you love them more. Now, going back to what I was originally getting, somebody here at 121. Something to do with the number four. So in April, something's going to happen or maybe someone here has something to do with an, an Aries or a Taurus. Okay. Confirmation for some or something's important about the number four. Someone could have four children, or there's, for some, I don't feel like this, but this, the four is very specific here. Maybe you guys will know what that means, confirmation. Dude, seriously, I can't with this hair today. It just feels like I rubbed olive oil all in it. Just, it's just oily, and it's because I've been sweating a lot, I've been sweating, I guess I've had a fever or something, but maybe it's like a sinus infection. <sighs> yeah, I get a whole lot of love situations here, and it's like, how can you... You just, I don't get it. Like, I want to be happy for you and I want to, you know. But also, I get strongly here someone is maybe feeling like their partner is in love with their ex still. Or their partner may love their first child with someone else more. I don't know. Now, you could have somebody here who's um, the 14. 14 could be specific, which breaks down to a 5. So, the number 5 could be specific here. Or the number 14. Confirmation. But, uh, what was I going to say? Somebody here may get with someone, they could be like the new girl and, um, or new guy and they get with a partner and they've been with them a couple years, couple months, couple days, however long, right? And they're like talking about babies or they're already pregnant or they already had a baby or something like that, getting married the whole nine yards. But then this person inwardly, even though they're the new person and they're the one that has the father or the mother there, they could still be jealous of the children or a child that this person had prior to them, even though it's like, well, they're there with you, aren't they? But it's like they're still kind of low-key jealous that maybe this partner they got with that already had children or a child before them may still actually love that child or children more. It's like... Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. 
Now you could have somebody here. I would I would hate to say this. I would hate this to actually be the case, but you know, you could have somebody here who actually goes and creates a new family with somebody because they want to make someone jealous whom they had a child or children with before. Now that's just some low down dirty petty shit. Wow. That's not everybody's story, but I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a whole fucking lot today. Because you guys show me so much love, this rest of the portion of the video will be the extension. Or we could call it, no, we'll call it the extension. And then if we need to get a bonus, we'll get a bonus for you guys. Because I love you so fucking much. And you guys show me a lot of love. But yeah, let's let's tap into this a little more. But uh, feelings for them. So yeah, let's tap more into this whole, do you have feelings for them? Or do you still have feelings for them? I'm telling you, I feel like somebody could be in a relationship here and they're straight up thinking like, I think you like her or I think you like him. You know, I think you, I think you like them. I just feel it. It's something that I feel. I truly believe it. And I'm worried that you're going to like leave me or I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning something with an L I'm fearing. I'm worried that you're going to have an affair on me that now someone also could be insecure because they're having like a little bit of body dysmorphia because maybe they've they're like, oh, but I'm bigger now because I just had a baby. And it's like, so what? They love you. You have their kid. You have their children. Of course, they, they, lo they love you. They love it. They did it to you. They love it. You know, but somebody could be, which is totally understandable. It could be like hormones. It could be so simple. This whole message could just be somebody's just experiencing the hormones. You know, and it's like, oh, I get a whole lot about children here, guys. You know, now there could be like some sibling rivalry. It may have nothing to do with children, but it could have to do with like grown kids who are like fighting for the attention of their mother. I'm hearing mother specifically or a father or something like that because it's like, well, You show more favoritism to my brother or my brothers or my sister than you do me. One sister specifically. I said sister, didn't I? So somebody has one sister here. That's not for everybody. But if somebody has one sister here, even if you're a girl yourself, confirmation. Somebody's thought maybe either that this sister is jealous of you or you may have thought a little bit I'm jealous of my sister. And maybe you're not wrong. You may feel like your mother or your father shows up more and does more or talks to more your sibling than they do you. Or somebody feels like that here. Like I feel like you care more about them or their kids or their child. You do more for their baby or you watch their baby more or you show up more for them. I don't know, something like that. Hmm. Somebody could even be having a conversation with you. Maybe it is a sister of yours or a friend of yours, something, and they're in a relationship now. Maybe they are married to someone or they got with someone who already had kids prior. And, uh, or maybe it's a future daughter-in-law of yours. I don't know who this is. It's somebody talking to you. It could be a female, if, especially if you're a female. This is very specific. And they're talking to you or they will be in the near future about something and you're going to gather from it because you're very fucking intuitive that this person is insecure about the relationship itself, especially about the relationship between um, the person they married or the person they're with now and their biological original children. The children are a child they had before these two got together. Okay. Maybe even someone's afraid their person they're with now is going to return to an ex-wife or may still kind of, I don't know, it's something like that. And you may reassure this person, like, no, they love you. They, you know, but there's a part of you that's kind of like, this person's jealous. And they shouldn't be. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like something's going to rub you the wrong way. Crosswatcher or Scorpio, something's going to rub you the wrong way. Seeing something like, daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? I see something about the toes, too. I see little toes, little fingers. This is a specific message for somebody needed this. Somebody definitely needed this. Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? Mmm. Okay. Boy, we getting a whole lot of stories today. We could also have siblings here. Let's say, you know, everybody's got kids, right? Uh, in the sibling group. At least the one I'm seeing. I'm hearing Ava, Eva, Ava. Anyway, confirmation for some. And, um, one, hold on. 
one of the siblings may eventually say something to the other siblings and say, I don't really appreciate that you guys all do stuff together, but I feel like my kid kind of gets left out or my kids kind of get left out or something like, I feel like I'm always the one having to call. I'm always the one having to say happy birthday, happy, whatever, you know, reach out. But you guys don't ever do anything. Like you guys don't have any pictures with my kid. You guys, don't, you know what I'm saying? I feel like mine gets slighted, but y'all's kind of gets put on the pedestal. Y'all all, all kind of hang out together. And I feel like y'all don't really care about mine. You know, I feel like I'm always the one traveling to hang out and meet you guys. I'm always coming to your house doing things. And y'all don't really do that for me or mine. There's a lot. This message is layered. I know it's not everybody's story, so we may actually still get on here and do a bonus just to get a completely different message. Some of you may want that because maybe you're like, I don't have any young kids. I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> but somebody needed it. I'm also kind of out of it today. I'm kind of like, my head feels weird. I need to cook, actually. 222 on the dot. What time is it? The time is 2.22 p.m. Did something just happen with somebody here? Did something just happen? I mean, just happen like recently something just happened, like some sort of meltdown or breakdown or fight or argument or some sort of situation. I'm like seeing it. I'm kind of zoning in to somebody's, it's almost like, I don't know why I'm getting like somebody, there was like a meltdown of some sort. I don't know if it was just like a hormonal, if somebody just had a bad day or if like something happened feels recent. It feels like it just happened. Behind closed doors is what I'm hearing. Hmm. What about it though? There's something specific. Specific. About a recent meltdown. You may not even know about it. Some of you, it could be, it could have happened on the outside of you. Like it happened in someone's family. It's like a meltdown or someone's relationship. Also, you know how I was trying to say specific and I was going, pss, pss, pss. it's like whispers, something to do with a secret or like. Pss, 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 pss. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Something's making me like. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm gonna say this then I'm gonna go have any of you thought that somebody was talking shit so you asked them right or somebody said something you don't know so you asked them if this is not you it happened on the outside of you somebody asked someone recently it's already happened past tense somebody asked someone did they, were they referring to my kid or were they referring to me or were they referring to, did they really say this? Somebody asked somebody something and the person said, no, they never said that or they didn't mean them or they never, but they lied. Like the specific thing that somebody asked was exactly what someone did, was exactly what went down, was exactly what was said. It's exactly what someone meant. It's exactly who they were talking about, but someone exactly lied. Someone fucking lied. And somebody knows it. I feel like somebody knows that here. And there's like almost this guilty conscience because someone knows that they should probably say the truth. They should probably tell the truth, but they're not. I feel like we've got some family drama coming on. It's about to happen even more. It's just brewing. Like imagine what hasn't come out yet. Imagine what hasn't been said. Imagine what hasn't been addressed due to probably somebody kind of lying here. Constantly lying, but also I feel like somebody could even be at the center of the drama because they 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 whisper it, they talk, they go from this person for finding out information to go to this person to telling the information, and you know, but then but then they lie to somebody. 
but this person's smart. I feel like you could be the one on the outside and you know this shit. I don't, something's about to go down. I feel like it's about to go down. Like no sooner does somebody think, I got away with that lie. And it's like, you think, they fucking think. Somebody thinks they got away with a lie in a family. And it, it's over children. It's over children. Or it's over relationships and love or something like that. It's a lie. And there's several lies. And there's several things that it's like, there ain't no way they would know that had you not told them that. Like, you're the only one that knows that. They're, I don't have any connection to these people or this person. Like, how would they know that information? Because you fucking told them. And you're telling me you didn't. Wow. I feel like, boy, we could keep going. Uh-oh. I don't want to keep going. I need to cook so bad, guys. I need to cook. I'm starting to feel a little bit better in yours. I actually feel a little more pumped up. I kind of feel like wringing somebody's neck, to be honest with you. I feel like just stepping in and standing with you on this one because, like, what the fuck is about to happen here? Mm hmm Somebody has gotten very comfortable, almost like me sitting on this couch. Someone's gotten very comfortable in their deception, though, like in their lies. This is in regards to a family situation or in regards to a relationship situation. Shan Shanna? Shania? Shana? Shanna? Shanan? Shana? Some, somebody's name starts with an S, their actual name. Shh. Could be a last name even. I mean, am I gonna go through the names of S names like Sydney, Sam, Samantha? I'll just say the ones that pop in my top of my head. They're telling me to do it. Something to do with S. Okay, Shana, Shania. Sh Char Shirley, Shelly, also Michelle or Shell, somebody could say for short. Shelby. Anything else? I'm not getting anything else. S Savannah. Sean. I keep going to shh, like an SH name. Very, very specific. Okay, anyway, or it just gives that sound like shh. Or it's just shh, 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 shh. Don't say it. Don't tell them. Don't tell them what I said. Or, you know, shh. It's just like these little. I'm also hearing sheriff. Literally, I'm hearing sheriff. Wasn't there a, the woman on uh, The Real Housewives? I think she's in prison now. Shaw, Jen Shaw. Jen, could be someone's name, Jen, Jennifer. But anyway, somebody, uh, anyway, wasn't his name Sharif? But actually, someone could be like a sheriff here. Something to do with the cops? Or something to do with like uh, a sheriff, an actual cop, or military police, or something to do with sh sh shock. Sh is very. Important here. Shutter. Shutters. Sh it's not so secret. I mean, I'm picking up on it easily. Confirmation. I feel like some of you, this is really clarified a lot. I'm not even kidding. I feel like I'm picking up on somebody very specific here. It's a group of you that some of you may be like, this doesn't resonate at all. But some of you, I'm telling you, you're going to be like in my comments, like, oh my God. 
I'm seeing a neighborhood now. Oh, they're giving me a lot in yours. I love Scorpios and Crosswatcher. Whoever you are, you're taking on the Scorpio energy. I'm seeing a neighborhood now. I see a, a like a little white house. Then I'm saying it just like that, like a little white house. The house is not very far off the road. Or it looks like a house. What about it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to get specifics here. It's not a very big yard. There is not a fence to this yard. Not the one I'm seeing. There's not a fence. At least it doesn't look like it. It could be a fence, but it's definitely not like a privacy fence. It's nothing that stands out. It's nothing obvious. And then there's like this, uh, I see a truck in the driveway. But it may be a very close driveway to a neighbor's. It's like a shared driveway almost. Shh. See? Shh. Shared driveway. Yeah. And then there's like a little backyard or something. Not very many trees. I mean, maybe now. Yeah, maybe. I can't really tell. It's a little foggy. I'm staying more on the porch, a little back porch. There's like a back porch, right? And uh, this isn't like a very covered back porch, at least. It doesn't look like. Not the one I'm seeing. To where, at least, like, I'll, I'll give an example. Like, if it were to pour down rain, you'd probably get wet on it. Because it's not very covered, if at all. But it's just not very. It's not deep. I see people walking in through the back door. People are going through the back door, not the front door. The front door is hardly used ever. It's more so the back door. Very specific. Oh, are we remote viewing? Damn, we're going to get a whole hour ass message, aren't we? It looked like three something. I can't see it from over here. Okay. What about the house? What about the house? Something to do with this house. Maybe this is where this conversation is taking place. If it is not a fucking house, guys. No, it's a house. I'm seeing a house. But I'm also seeing like some sort of apartments. I'm seeing a lot. Okay, what about it? <sighs> Can we fade that out? Because it's not going anywhere. I'm just like, I'm basically right now, I'm kind of standing inside the back door. It's like, that's the kitchen. The kitchen is where the back door is. Something like that. Mm -hmm. um, this is not for everybody, but I'm seeing like a bar like a bar in somebody's house, but I'm also getting that this is not in everybody's house, but I'm seeing it. I don't know if it's in this one I'm seeing, but I'm seeing a little bar area in the kitchen, but there's actually no bar stools under it. There's no bar stools. There's not very much room in this kitchen either. It's really small. But that's not for everybody. Some, there's no bar at all. I don't know why I'm getting that confirmation, guys. Anyway, I think we're going to go now. Uh, it's I went way over, but I was just kind of having fun with it. You guys should try remote viewing if you've never done it. It's really interesting. You could seriously, like, tap into a whole lot of shit. But this one's, like, very specific. Like, I'm getting some damn specifics in this bitch. <laughs> I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a whole lot here. Why do I keep wanting to look though? Like, why do I keep wanting to look? Is somebody like stalking someone here? Somebody, because why am I saying that? Why do I keep wanting to look? Because somebody is looking. Somebody's looking through somebody's home or somebody's driving past somebody's home or somebody knows the layout of somebody's home. Something. Okay. I don't know why I need to know that. All right. All right. I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me. Woo! And I'll talk to you later. Bye.